So guys, we're back. Um, so you know, last time I was doing it in his voice, and I was, it was you know, it was pretty bad. It was, just, it was literally just a dines. So after that recording, I spent a little time uh to try and get Anna's voice, and the best I could come up with was a dines, but slightly deeper. Whether or not that'll actually show up on the recording, uh, is just up to the recording. So yeah, we're gonna go jump back into it. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is where we left off last time, so let's get that second date with Anna. And just on time. Now, where is she? Hello? What's this? Looks like a message. Something came up last second. Wait, wait for me. It shouldn't be too long. Uh, Anna. Alright, see if I can put this new voice to the test. I guess at the last second is meant in the little sense here, or else she could have just called me. Guess we're playing the waiting game then. Okay, it's been like an hour, and my patience is slowly but surely running out. Go home, wait, well, wait, because, like, that's gonna happen if I go home. I've already waited this long, so I guess I can't, I can wait a little longer. Oh, wow. I'm not sure who the world record holder for most patient person is, but uh, now I feel like a contender. Still, no sign of her, though. I'm going uh, try to get into her lab. Hmm... We'll just wait one more time and then go into our lab. Well, she doesn't show up soon. I'm done. <clears throat> Alright, see if I can get his voice. There you are. Maybe have been in this all the time. Reading comprehension. But reading comprehension must not be a strong suit because my nose clearly said I'd be back soon. Not to self, the word soon now refers to the span of over two hours. Two hours? That's not two hours. Look, it, this is not two hours. It was morning. Morning. Because that's when the date always start. Morning. And then it's afternoon, technically. Okay. Span over two hours when waiting for a scheduled appointment. Has it really been that long? I certainly didn't feel like it. Alright, sorry for, to make, for making you wait. You better be. Let's just go. Moving track of time happens to the best of us. Yes, like this morning when I was. I slept. In for work. That was scary. It happens to me all the time. Your voice is male now, but fuck it. I guess we missed that movie. Can't we see the late screen? I don't remember last time, but. Did we plan to see a movie? I thought it was just. The date's up to you if you're gonna come take it. Where the fuck did a movie come from? Okay. Can we see the late screening or something? This, that was a late screen. The theater's closed now. Uh, maybe we should reschedule. That won't work. At least not for me. Today was the only day I could leave early. I won't have another chance anytime soon. So what do we do now? Maybe the coffee place is still open? I don't know. I guess it's better than nothing. Don't know why you'd head there again, but... Close it. This is a back alley. Who, who the fuck enters a cafe to the back alley? You don't work there. <laughs> Close as well. That's just peachy. Why do you keep working so late anyway? Because what I'm doing is important. You're doing cancer research, right? Oh, yeah. I did go interview Damien, didn't I? Huh. Eh, who told you that? Damien, I stopped by your lab some time ago, but you weren't there. That... Shardborn... Shardborn... Shardborn? The fuck is that? That Shardborn bastard. What else did he tell you about me? Nothing much. The uh, whole thing wasn't really about you anyway. I see. Sounds like you two don't get along that well. That's an understatement of the century. Being trapped in a small room with the likes of him for hours on every day. The scenario born of a sick mind with the intention of making me suffer as much as possible. It certainly doesn't make me research any easier. It's just probably doesn't help you either. And it's not worth jeopardizing your health over. Don't overwork yourself. You can't save anyone if you're dead. If I don't find a cure, no one else will. No one else can. Seeing no one's as good as you? Dang. Besides, I was only late today because I got your stupid blood work ready. Blood work? You mean blood test? Yeah, and you have the test results? Yeah. Want to know what I have to say about them? Definitely. Okay. 
I'll actually know about genetics. A little bit, I guess. Don't worry. I'll put it into it. You're a biologist. I think, I think you should know just a little more than just a little. Holy shit. Why did they make you a biologist? They literally could They just... They just should have called you a liberal arts student. Because that's where your fucking mind is at. You piece of shit. Anyway. Don't worry. I'll put it into words that are easy for you to understand. Who's texting me? No. You gone. To start off, I found that, on average, about... On average, about 90% of your genes are homologous to our species genes. That may seem like a lot, but to put in perspective, about 50% of your DNA is also shared with food. That's true. We have a lot of, of DNA in common with a banana. Further rather, you and your human neighbor back home are probably around 99.9% genetic similar. If compared to... If compared to the very sentient species we have here to each other, that would be only around 95 to 97% similar. Ugh. As to what other, as to, as for what exactly all of this, all of this tells us, although a match of 90% is something about, it's not as much as you might think. Still, for two beings that are different, that are from a different world altogether, that's quite remarkable. Beyond DNA, the biggest similarity between us is between brain structure, but that's not surprising considering our high level of cognitive abilities. That was Brad Maverick. What do you mean? He doesn't seem to like humans very much. You know, a human kind of shot him. I, just saying, if I were to be shot by someone, I don't think my opinion of them would be very high. <laughs> I'm sure he, I'm sure he'll be displeased, know how similar we are. Oh, he doesn't in, in, like anyone really. He's just like that to me, in a way. He's just like me in a way. In, oh my god, he's just like me in that way. You don't like anyone. Wait, that's what she's saying, right? He doesn't like anyone, he's just like me in that way. Okay. I don't think I'd have my personality trait as I don't like anyone. But, you know. Yeah, you two would make a great couple. You're late for that. I'm Marty's ex girlfriend. Oh, wow. Really? How'd that go? I just realized Adine and Remy are exes. You, Maverick, are exes. Where was I going with this? I don't know. Well, you may think. It actually went pretty well, for a while at least. But in the end, we both got too absorbed in our jobs until we realized we had drifted apart too much and agreed it would be better if we just broke up. I still respect him for the work he does. I mean, we even saw used to solve crime together. And I'd be in the lap running tests, and he'd be on the field chasing after the pups. Those were good times. I guess nowadays he just chases after me. What? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but if you know him, maybe you can help me out. I certainly can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. Okay, well, this is just between us, alright? Sure, whatever. Maverick is convinced that I'm the accomplice of a crime. He made a point to tell me that he's searching for proof to illegally arrest me, or worse. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Really? It's nothing. He can't find any proof that doesn't- He can't find proof that doesn't exist. Still, it doesn't feel nice to be threatened and stalked, especially by someone like him. That's just him. He gets way too into it once he gets his set, set on something. I noticed. It's his job. What do you expect? I just wish he'd leave me alone. He wasn't always like this, you know. A couple years ago, he was assigned to this one kiss. He was still relatively new enough, was young and eager to help. Then, reality came crashing down on him. There's a serial killer who shook up the whole town. The victims were apparently eaten. We found later out that the killer's actions were a result of a degenerate, I can read, degenerative disease, which brought his feral, his feral nature to the foreground. At that point, he was just a wild animal, turned into a cannibal that hunted under the shadow of the night. Everyone in town was up in arms, terrified that they'd be next. Police did everything they could. A QV was installed, and patrol guarded the streets at night. And then everyone found him munching on this fifth victim. Poor little Mother was not prepared for what he could find. It's done about Frederick. I'll handle this. Miles? Wait, that's not your voice. Miles? It was his brother. Step away from the body, Miles. Miles couldn't comprehend the woods, and only saw rivals who wanted to take away his prey. And? He wasn't about? 
and he wasn't about to just let go of it without a fight. Miles raised his head from his kill. Why did you break from his mom? I guess it's still Anna. The officer's breaths were smothered by the dead, deathly still of the night. Fang's bed, the fellow dragon stopped and stood in front of his meal, prepared to protect from the two who intruded upon his territory. Whatever it is, Miles, whatever this is, Miles, it's over. Don't make it worse now. In an instant, Miles was upon us. They clashed in a fury, flurry of teeth and cold. Miles had the advantage with his small friend and quick movements, and Bryce could not get a clear hit in. It all happened so fast that Malfoy didn't know what to do. They rolled on the ground, and Bryce ended up on his back, a helpless, a, a helpless as a turtle. Miles pinned him and clamped his jaws on his neck. Bryce's claws were the only thing preventing Miles from biting down, and they were slipping, slick with blood and quivering with the teeth he tried to push off him off. For a brief moment, Bryce thought he'd, met, he'd meet his end, when the jaws suddenly relaxed and he was able to dodge when he looked up, he saw that Maverick had managed to get Miles from behind. He bit through his brother's neck from a puck. Blood flowed, flowed down Maverick's jaws and over Miles' lifeless body. Bryce had one. Then saved, but the young dragon wore a wide open, empty stare. Maverick blamed himself for not taking better care of his brother. He knew Miles had problems and was taking medication for it, but he wished he could have done more to help him. Medication wasn't the right one. By the way, there seems to be a problem with medication in this town. First, Miles, you know, was getting wrong medication. Then, the orphan child couldn't get the right medication. I guess that's more kind of on her. No, no, it wasn't on her. Because she got the wrong prescription. Which wouldn't be on her. That'd be on the doctor. You medical people need to step up your game. Jesus Christ. Never takes solace in the fact that he was able to save Bryce. Well, I guess that's happened to me earlier. Whatever. But he's never been able to that same sense of him. Now, he scrutinize everyone and everything. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help me. It doesn't. But now you know why he is the way he is. It's not unnatural for him to act like this, so you might just have to wait it out. Anyway, let's get back to your test results. Since you were so interested, did you want to copy them? Yeah, I'd appreciate Who's texting me? No. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. No problem. I also, I heard you also want to raise his, raise his boy. Of course, I invited him over too, but that was before you asked you. And I thought we had something special. Oh, it is. Wait, was too stuck up to agree to anything. You wouldn't even participate in an exhilarating round of trivia board games? Not even that. Can you believe it? I can almost see the sarcasm dripping from your mouth. Still, it's kind of a shame. It would have been interesting to compare your butt to his. What a shame indeed. Let's just enjoy our romantic date in the back alley of a coffee shop. That's true. I like how you point out we're in the back alley of a coffee shop. Because there's no reason for us to be back here. Of course. Unless you want to take this someplace else. Oh. What? You don't like hanging around to the back alleys? I prefer some place in the city. I'd rather I had... I'd rather be someplace less dirty. Actually, I do. I don't know what to do here. I actually don't. So... We're gonna go with the ye old classic, uh, safe scumming. Because I'm pretty sure this is not right, but you know, that meme with the, uh, the penguins, and it's, it's Donald Trump says the N word or something, and then he goes, it's, it's, it's like, a, a Donald, the, the, like a, uh, I can, uh, Trump kills Michelle, and then, um, Miles and Luther King's like, actually, I do. Civil rights of B. And then, you know, that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a spear. We ain't kind of hungry. I figured we'd be having our meal. Having a meal on our date. What? Can't you a few hours without having to stuff your face? I can offer you a handful of dirt. If that's your taste, right? That's close. I'd pass. I already have my. I do have my own dirt. <laughs> Sorry, but I have my own dirt. Oh really? What kind of debt would that be? Only the finest gover government gov I'm not a retard. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <sighs> Governmentally funded dirt from Tattoo Park. Your filthy back alley stuff has nothing on this. You win this round. Either way, a side dish would be nice. I know this one place that never calls it. They're not me. 
There's this one place in difficulties. Let's go there. Sure. Is it Pantaloni's Pizza? After several minutes of walking, Anna led me to the outskirts of town. We arrived at a farmhouse. On one side, fields stretched towards the horizon, and on the other were lush green hills with fenced populations of animals. What kind of restaurant is this supposed to be? self so. I seriously doubt that. You're a bad girl, Anna. I'm no fit to keep. I'm out of here. You're a bad girl. <laughs> I know. Well, oh, how can how well can you hunt? Me? Even if I knew how, it's not like I have any equipment here. Equipment? What a sissy. Bruh. You got, you got hands of teeth. What would it need? Um, the ability to run faster than the prey. The ability to hold on to the prey with my hands and uh, teeth. The uh, natural instincts of any predator. The, uh, the camouflage. I, I don't know. I mean, you're also a biologist. You. You. You can't see what we're putting at because I don't have a camera. But you are a biologist. You should know this. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Like, why even give people degrees if they can't even apply them? She's been applying her degree up until now. What the fuck? <sighs> a long range weapon, maybe? Like, file. I suppose I could make use of that. Alright, since I'm apparently the only one capable of acquiring food, I'll be right back. Also, you're red and blue in a field of green. You're going to stick out like crazy. Ah. I don't. Why did anyone get a biology degree because they're so fucking stupid? Ugh. Anyway, Anna walked over to a fence enclosure of animals that reminded me of sheep. She crouched and squeezed herself through the bars. After which, I lost ever. Waiting game 2.0 start. It only took a couple of minutes for her to return, dragging away the animals behind her with a now bloody, with now bloody jaws and hands. Jesus Christ! I don't. <laughs> okay, dinner's ready. What kind of animal is this? It's called a mu mouflon. Mouflon. Anyway, anyway, do you have any pot that you prefer? I cooked one. See how nice I am. I'm even ready to get your first choice. Awful. Awful? What's an awful? Okay. Google. What is an awful? An awful is the entrails. Okay. So the good stuff. However, we're on a sexy schmexy date. So we're going to be getting that uh, the rump. Oh, uh, it is actually kind of good too. Huh. Why is that star so bright? And that one. Which one of you is the meteor? Why are you bright? I don't understand. Anyway, no problem. Using one of her claws, she skinned the dead, who flawn, and divided into various pieces. Don't is grilled or not raw. Grilled. Unless properly prepared, raw meat carries a significant risk for, uh, of diseases for us. How in can these species be? You can't even hunt on- we can't hunt on own. And we do hunt on our own. And you need tools and help at every step. You don't even have claws to cut things up. I'm not sure how you could ever survive in the wild. You don't. Seriously, what gods did you piss off to end up like that? Uh... Evolution, none, humans were made in God's image. I have no idea. I ain't religious, so fuck off with the second option. Uh, evolution, that baby. I just have re millions of years of evolution. Nature said, yo, hey, congrats on actually applying your uh, biology degree for once in your fucking life. Uh, nature decided that we wouldn't, that we didn't need the, those voters anymore. Instead, we got very articulate hands and arms and our upright stance. Those let us do many other things. Like what? Who builds everything in your society? Who's responsible for the delicate tasks like assembling electronics, manufacturing, or cooking and bartending? That's mostly us, the runners. We've got proper hands after all. And I compare your arms to mine. Ours are much longer, and we have way more mobility. Especially our fingers. They have more and they have an incredible amount of articulation. The difference between you and me is about as big as the difference between you and other another of other species. Just imagine what we could do with our advantages. Oh, you think you could school me? 
Sure, I can. Don't get cocky. We have overcome the limitations of individual species with all of our technology. Actually, we have technology back home that is far superior to- No. Be gone. Be gone, ye. Away. Away, obstinately. Okay. Actually, we have technology- Actually, we have technology back home that is far superior to yours. I'd love to see that. No, we've already got, get, already got plenty of the information on your tech from the databases contained in the PDF. What will you do when we catch up? Die. If you get there, we'll see. She opened her maw in she opens her maw before a liquid shot from both corners of her mouth and onto the ground below the parts of the Lufon she had prepared. After a few seconds, a liquid burst into flames heating up our dinner. Oh, cool. I like that kind of fire starting. That's a neat trick. I bet you wish you could do that, huh? No, I'm not a monster. That'd be wicked cool. I'm not sure. That'd be wicked cool. Right? Comes in handy. How's that work anyway? Don't you ever per- You are a biologist, you son of a fucking bitch. I don't even have a degree yet, and I know how the fuck it works. That's it all. They're actually two different components. They only catch fire when they are sufficiently- When it does this- When a sufficient quantity of both is present. Interesting. See a dead animal in the background. The flames weakened and grew smaller until they went out, reeling steamy, appetizing pieces of meat. I just realized. We're on the farm. We did a cookout on the farm ground that we're stealing from. You know how bold that is? Not only to go to someone else's place, go there, animal. But you camp out there with fire. So you're so obvious you're doing it. Uh. <laughs> the flames weakened and there be this. Help yourself. I grabbed a piece of- I grabbed a piece, but I dropped it as soon as I felt the heat on my finger. Okay, 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 I thought the main character was dumb. I really did. Now, I'm losing brain cells. Oh my god. Ouch, that's still hot. No, duh. Can I take a little sweet heat, huh? That's too bad. Unaffected by its temperature, she took a piece and- into her hand, tore a chunk out of it with her teeth, and started chewing. I guess your scales are a good insulator. Yeah, but so. How's it taste? Just wonderful. So good, are always taste the best. I can already picture the old farmer reduced to tears after he discovers what his precious mufflons is gone. You're wild one, I seriously knock it off. What a shame. You're wild. Thanks. I could teach you a thing or two. I think it'd be, it should be cool enough for your sensitive little teeth now. Carefully, I grabbed one of the pieces, which by now hadn't which by now had indeed cooled enough, cooled down enough to not burn me anymore and took a bite. It was a little bland, I had to admit, but there's no spices. Holy shit. But not bad for something that was alive less than an hour ago and prepared in the wild. How do you like your on a la Vana? Needs a few spices, not bad. I feel like a wild animal. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Here's a little bland. I think I use a few spices. I'm not the one to destroy a perfectly good piece of meat with stupid vegetables. I'm not talking about the actually wait, never mind. I don't know what spices are made of. But you can put some grass on it. Yeah. It's not quite the same thing. How often do you just go out and hunt on your own? Oh no necessary. Oh when I feel like it. I, s I still go to fancy restaurants because I can afford it. But they don't mean much to me. Well then, that's all about the experience and one is it necessarily better than the other? You can see your point. This was unusual, but a bit fun. I would prefer a fancy version. Oh, I guess it was fun. I can see your point. This certainly isn't how I thought the evening would go, but it was pretty fun. Did it get brighter? Huh. Anyway, I'm stuffed. Me too. There's still plenty left over. What are we going to do with all it all? I can just leave it here. Hey, maybe the fumble will help himself too. I'm not supposed to leave something for him. Wants us to track predators or something. Talk about recycling. Yeah, this top one. Yeah, he should pay me for cooking him such a nice meal. We should probably leave before that senile has been. See, yeah, see, that, for that senile has been wakes up from this evening. This evening? You mean like, I don't know, 
everyone's normal sleeping time. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, so now it's dark, I guess. I guess that was just the evening, even though it's the same time as when we left. Eh. Wait a minute, I've got something for you. Here you go, the desert salts. That can watch. Thanks, but did you really need to spend all that extra time getting this done today? I just want to get it over with when we had, when I had the chance. Maybe you should start thinking about not working so late on a regular basis. It might do you some good, Anna. Why do you think so? I'm just saying, it, if it usually gets this bad, if it usually gets as bad as it did today, that's not a good sign. I just didn't pay attention to time. But I guess that's because I barely go out anyway. And I didn't think about watching the clock. Should get a watch. Okay, we're thinking. So, what are you gonna do? I'll think about it. You know, now that this date is officially over, I don't think I don't work overtime. If I don't work overtime every single day, I could fit you in for the end of, of the deal. Of course, you didn't forget about that. I let you know the details. Or just call me if I forget. Sure. All right. Well, that was the date with Anna. Um, probably nothing too interesting gonna happen in this episode, but you know, so going with the dime to get that add your dialogue. All right, guys. Um, so I did a date with Anna. You know, I just go to the next day, and then I. So uh. So you know, after the next day, it's always like, hey, Bryce comes over, and it's like, yeah, hey, yo, bruh. Uh, we need you to come look at Anna's dead body. Well, it kind of skipped through some stuff. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let's go back and see what it was talking about. Because, uh... Yeah, so this is... Okay, it comes with me. Okay, we're just gonna go through this. Because this is kind of what it skipped through. But I don't remember this happening. But, you know, we're still gonna go through. Horizon, please come with me. What's going on? You sound serious. You have to explain everything once we rob. Okay. Hey, Chief. Well, awesome to see you. Thanks, question. You can deal with the situation here while I talk to you. All right. All calls. Oh, I think this is just about the, uh... Never mind. Rosen, I've got some really bad news. Well, what is it? You know I know, right? I've met her, yeah. How about her assistant? I've met him once or twice. Well, that's him. Hey, she lived this time. I like how it's basically the same sheet except without the tail. Oh, are you okay? I didn't know him, nor did I ever care for him, but sure. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's just get this over with. Bryce nodded. And then this is the same, but uh, I'm going to go through it just a tiny bit. I don't know. And, and there's more bad news. What we found on the first victim in town matches the DNA evidence we on the second victim at the public facility. For the ball, the murder weapon and method be to be the same across all three victims. And that's going to be a big problem for you. Why is that? Because with these two murders, we're raising that problem serial killer. So, yeah, this is the same. I guess we're going to skip tell something new. Okay, so it's going to take too long, but um, I just was when we're forced to go meet Amira over here. Um, So, I guess this is new. But uh, I see. Well, I know I haven't exactly been up to date in regards to his sudden disappearance. But to get the message today that he is a confirmed serial killer was quite shocking. Frankly, I'm curious to see. As this, I'm curious as to why the facts of this case have been without me for so long. This isn't new. No. Simply because they aren't within your jurisdiction. The murders are strictly a police matter. Only with the amount of new evidence, namely the DNA, have they found uh, on these three murders now being linked together. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, being linked together, and to him did your ministry have to become involved. I see. So racist involvement is now undeniable. I'm afraid so, Minister. Facts are nothing, are nothing to be afraid of. Although, in light of this, I'm starting to worry about my personal safety. Okay, this isn't... This isn't... Why'd you qualify that as new? That was just... Okay. All right, I skipped ahead. Um, stop texting. Anyway, um, so yeah, they just skip through like you know, I go portal. It's like, yeah, it don't work. I come back. 
and they're like, okay, you gotta do stuff, and I come back here. There wasn't any new dialogue that I saw, but this is now new, so first up. Nope. First up is the wrong my witness in the way the murder. The victim's called Legana. She was the one who found his body. A few things have changed since this morning, as we've gotten some additional information from prisoners that weren't for the question. She can be found in the production facility. She seemed to be interested in our underground bedding found near the bottle. I realize you might actually need help with that, since it's suspects to be since it's suspected to be of human origin. Your opinion would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I guess I should act archaeologist resume. I guess this is all the same. Yes, it would. The only new thing is that oh, never mind. We also located another witness for the this murder. I saw a clerk reported seeing and hearing something. So it's probably with uh, it worth it to ask him a few questions. Got it. I don't know what that's about, but he had the, the details. Will it visit me at the department once you're done? It's your thing. It's interesting that they still relied on me for the investigations. Even after they tried to send me back to my world, this is not anything new. That's nothing. Okay. So she was at the production facility. Yeah. Let's go get Anna. I guess. This is new to me. Why did I say that? Oh. Wait. When was this? I don't know. Hey, Ryzen. No room, right? Yep. You get a chance to think about what I told you last time. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. I want to get this dialogue. Works out for me. Don't worry. I didn't lose your number. They keep me pretty busy, so I don't really have much free time. Well, if anything changes, give me a call. I will. I gotta go now, so take care. You too. I do wonder what makes you leave, though, because, uh, what am I thinking? Because, uh, your, your buddy's like, yeah, he yeah, he just left out of nowhere. But, you know, whatever. I should be the right place. And knock on her door. Hey, it's you. I'm pretty, I'm pretty busy, so I'm not sure if I should take any visitors at this time moment. You just sound more and more like Anna, but, Anna, more like a dying, but, I. Don't have any female voices. Yeah. I have a few questions about the murder of the colleague. Is that it? Why would you go? Why would you get to go and ask a question like that? It's a matter of. Is it a matter of human interest? Actually, yes, you could say so. No, it's a police thing. Interesting. What's in it for me? Hey, I already agreed to your test. I'm not sure that's like that out for you. Besides, I'm working with the police, so your cooperation would be greatly appreciated. Oh, you're for the police. Now that has my attention. I want to see where you're going with this. So by all means, go ahead. Uh, what happened the last time you saw him alive? Can you tell me what happened when you found him? Oh, you found a bot. I don't know what. What's your relationship with him? Seemed pretty calm for someone his colleague was just murdered. Okay, we know why. Let's just, that's all. I <laughs> question you, sure. Okay, bye. Anyway, um, what's happened last time you saw him alive? I saw him here yesterday evening. There were some tests I needed to run overnight. So instead of saying, Nate, I just set them up. I didn't do it. That's what colleagues are for, right? Okay, that's kind of rude. You tell what happened when you found them. I might have done it yesterday, but I had made up foot. But I had made up foot by coming in early today. Before anyone else. That's why I. <clears throat> that's why I'm the one who found him. I was on my way to the office when I saw him lying there in the middle of the hallway in a part of his own blood. What was your relationship with to him? We were colleagues. Nothing more. I heard that you didn't particularly like her. Yeah. From her own mouth. And his. Yeah, but that's not unusual. I don't like most people. He really didn't like me though. Why is that? He was just jealous of my success. And they tried. Seems some colleague was just murdered. People die if people die every day. It's a simple fact. Besides, I don't see you crying about them either. I don't know him very well that well. It's not like someone I actually cared about dying. The world stops spinning for no one. Life goes on. And for me, that means being without an assistant for one. Yeah. That'll be all. Thank you, Anna. My pleasure. I'm dead back. I just realized. What is my status with Anna now? Still good. Sad. Didn't get any impressed. Impressed. Wait, passion? Just passion? Huh. Oh, no puns for 
that, huh? After giving me like three puns last time. For the second wait, move, I turn the button for rest, small bit paper. This is don't go to the portal, so I'm not going to go to the portal because that'd be stupid. Um This was for the blueprint. I'm not gonna let the dime. So he's at the store, right? I didn't really pay attention to the dialogue. So I guess we'll go to the store. Hopefully he's there. I kind of suck if he wasn't. Well, I guess he's here. So that's good. Who's he talking to? Oh, it's her again. You have accept the prescriptions again. And I can't help you. I can't recall this one. She's about to close. Yada, yada, yada. Yo, how can I help you? You know who I am. Everyone does. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Yada yada yada. Um, I think I was supposed to talk to you. However, I wanted to do well in all investigations this run, and the last thing I need to do is follow her. So yeah. All right, and then this is the dialogue. It was. Witness for Waffle Man is good. Nothing new to us, but it's not to have a statement in the run. It'd be great to hear, isn't it? Waste Waffle Man has got to have one else odd. I just saved the little girl. I think this is skipping dialogue. And I think this is where we're going to leave off for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, yeah, that's about it.